All right, this is what I get for trying to hurry. All right, here we are this morning. We're going to go ahead down here and uh, get the lid built. So let me walk you through that. All right, my first thing I figured out is I need to make these 11 feet 8 inches long. Not sure what happened with this camera, but we got it working again. So let me show you a little bit more close up of what we got going on. All right, we got it laid out. We got it pretty well squared. These gray pieces, they're actually going to make some two across in the middle. So let me get to working on that. Back to earlier in the video, if you notice the ends actually are a little bit wider than the two by four frame, there's a reason for that. And we'll show you at the end. So stick around for that. Went ahead and marked center. So I got the center on this side and the center on this side. So now I don't want to put my board straight across in the middle. I want to split that difference and make this an even thirds. So now that I have the middle, I don't need the middle. So I'm just going to ignore that because I don't need to do it in halves. I need to do it in thirds. So I need to do one third of the 11 feet, 10 inches, not half. So back up and try again. All right. So I went back and redid it and divided basically my almost 12 feet by three to come up with like four feet. So you can see now I have my marks at the four foot mark there and over there's one and then over here's one. So now we have that. Now I can go back and put my cross supports on. All right, now we got that on. Now onto the sheeting. I don't know if you noticed one detail about this. But this was actually an old two by four. These two pieces that was cut in half just to give some support across. And I did put the flat part facing up. So that way I can put the sheeting on. All right, this is what I get for trying to hurry. I actually put these boards on the wrong side. Let me show you what I mean. This, I want it to go on the other side because this is gonna be hanging down. So I want that to be flat where we put the panels on because the panels are gonna hang over the, each end a little bit. So let me get this off and get this corrected. All right, now it is correct where I can put my stuff on top because now it's flat all the way around for the sheets. All right, this is where you would have seen me putting the panels down if the camera wouldn't have been acting up. The one end is gonna be pretty much even with it just because we have to uh, have a door going in and out of the house right next to it. So I don't want it to hit any edges of that. So I'd rather have it hit the wood. So we're gonna put the overhang at the opposite end. And as far as spacing across, I know I have a lot of overlap, but I don't wanna to have to cut these. So this way I don't have to cut it and just gives me a little bit extra overlap. All right, so we got all the screws and everything on. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we gotta figure out where to put the hinges. And doing that, we're gonna get this put in place so that way I can actually mark them, you know, as far as where the hinges are gonna land on the pallets. So that way I can make sure everything's gonna line up right. So the whole thing's sitting on here. You can see I have one spot right there I need to trim off. All right, we're underneath here in the bin, and I'll show you how we're going to do these hinges. And you can see, these are just about perfectly lined up. So I'm going to make sure I have that lined up the rest of the way down through, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, we got the hinges on, and let me show you what I did for a little extra piece that I didn't show. All right, so we got the hinges on. You can see the one hinge over there, and the other hinge over here. And I also did this little drop rod piece. So I can literally lift this up, spin it up, and then just lower everything down. And now it just stays tucked up right up against there. Until the next time you lift it up, and you can put it right there to hold everything up. I told you I was gonna tell you what about the overhang. So we can see what I was talking about with the longer boards here. Now you can see it in action. You can see how there's a little bit of an overhang. So that way it locks it in better inside the pallets. And here's the other end of the same thing. Now, since this is a very windy area of the house, there's one other thing we gotta do is not figure out how to keep it, keep the lid down in high winds. All right, we came up with a very low tech solution here. 
you can see I just got an eyelet, put it through there, got a bungee cord, an old one, cut it in half, tied a knot in it so it won't slip through. So I got one on this end, and we got one on that end. All right, and then after you get it hooked in there, basically just pour it down tight to where, and put a screw in. And now that holds it. So I got one at that end, and one down here. And that'll keep it so that way the wind won't get this carried away. Enjoyed this project, and if you have any questions or need any further details, you know, just shoot me a message. Please leave me a comment if you could. Give me a like and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, break.